Hey everybody, this is uh, Josh James from Keep Turning, and I'm just going to show a quick demonstration on using channels, and this works great for line work, any kind of black and white images you need a transparent background on them. Um, okay, so what we're going to do is I got some tattoo spot art here. I'm going to open it up in Photoshop, and it's it's a fairly big file, but it's uh, saved as a JPEG, so the white and black is all merged together on the background and we need to separate the two so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a quick select all and copy it and then we're gonna go over here to our channels palette and uh, we're gonna create a new channel and now we're gonna hit command V and we're gonna paste that artwork back in now what we want to do is we want to be able to make this the artwork that's in black our selection so we want to invert this channel. Um, if you hit Command I, it'll invert everything, and then we can make this into a uh, selection by holding down Command and clicking on the uh, channel that we created. And now go back to our normal channel, the RGB, and now that's all active. We can create a new layer, and uh, we can fill it with whatever we want. We'll just fill it with black again. And now this background layer that we had, we can just throw this away. It's We don't need it because we have this on a transparent background. And now you can, uh, you can make that background a multiplied layer so you can color underneath it and the black will soak through. Or if you want to color that line art, um, we can say we can lock it and preserve the transparency and then pick whatever color we want and uh, go in with our brush tool. Let's blow this up a little bit, and uh, you can just paint in what you want. So if you know you wanted uh, wanted this red and with uh, you know a few highlights or something on it, um, you can go do this now. And there's no dealing with multiplied layers that are going to be a problem or anything. You can do whatever you want. So uh, I hope that helps. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to shoot me over a text or an email and. Uh, be happy to help. Uh, until next time, talk to you guys later. Bye.